Good evening from the Florida Mall again. We are back because we didn't even scratch the surface of what's here in this mall. And it's also after Christmas and it's after the New Year's. So hopefully it'll be a little bit quieter and easier to get around in there. So let's go inside and see what kind of stuff we missed out on. Before we even head in, I wanted to point out that there's a Shake Shack here. And also kind of around here is a Ron John Surf Shop. Let's actually go in through Ron John Surf Shop and see if we can get into the mall that way. This is Hoka coming soon. It says world famous. Hokabar.com. Chef Horatio Gabriel. Do you guys know him? Is he world famous? All right, into Ron John, see where it ends, see where we end up on the other side of it. I like that you can get fun and interesting hats here. Oh, I came out into the food court from Ron John. I didn't even realize that that's where this was. There's a little tiny Orlando gift shop here, just like the ones that we visited on 192. On the other side of Auntie Anne's over there is the Disney store that we went into at the end of the last video. We are going to turn and head in this direction down this way. I like they have this sign telling us they're renovating, but it's just this box that's here in the middle of the floor. What are they what are they putting here aside from the box? Kind of interesting that they have an entire store devoted solely to soccer. Oh. Well, these are interesting. I don't know anything about soccer or football. Does anybody have like a favorite team that I'm passing by right now? Casa Fibas? It's like a home design store. It's kind of fun, but I don't understand what Casa Phoebus means. There's just a candy by the bulk kiosk here in the middle of the mall where you can get all kinds of different candies by the pound. There's a Build-A-Bear workshop, and if you guys don't know what Build-A-Bear workshop is, basically you pick out the design. I don't know what you would say, like the outer portion of a bear, and then you get it stuffing and you pick out its clothes and stuff like that and you build the bear and it's, you can do like parties and stuff in here but then right across the way is build a bear bake shop what is that is it just a bakery like themed around build a bear oh you can have bear cakes these are awesome and then directly across from the build a bear bake shop is the nestle toll house store where you can you can just get cookies or cookie cakes. You guys know I love cookie cakes. There's a place called Hudson's Video Games. I like their sign here. It says, we pay 10% more than the competition in the GameStop font. I know it's kind of hard to see, but they have all kinds of different things like Super Nintendos and Segas, Sega Saturn, Sega Genesis, GameCubes, Wiis, Xboxes, all kinds of different retro games. I know the reflection is just hard to see them all. There's like a fun little playground out here that looks like a giant garden almost these are like dandelions floating through the air there's all these different lights here i don't know if they do anything when you touch them oh yeah look at that they're like this is kind of fun i'm like changing things as i tap it and of course the crayola experience well this is just the store crayola experience actually enters in from outside but we've done that one before and we'll put a link to that in the description down below it was a lot of fun at the end of this hallway next to the crayola experience here is dick's sporting goods and uh, you know, it's just like a sporting goods store. Oh, they sell those neck fans. I have one that's rechargeable, but these are the other ones that we tried out and they work pretty okay. They did go through batteries quick though. Oh, they have a really large clearance event going on right now. Also in Dick's Sporting Goods, they have a lot of football stuff or soccer stuff too. Right across from the Crayola experience is Buca de Beppo. If you guys aren't familiar with Buca de Beppo, here is what their menu looks like. It's basically like a family style Italian restaurant. A lot of fun, we should probably go here one day. I like on their windows here, it says they've got color TV and it's good to come here for birthdays, anniversaries, and bowling banquets. Well, this is an interesting store. It's called the Snack Box and it's literally just a place where you can come and get snacks like goldfish and Skittles and M&Ms and any sort of little potato chips or anything like that. Oh, they've got popcorn too. Oh, it looks like they'll make you a cotton candy as well. I didn't realize this, but they have an interactive map here where you can click on the map and kind of like this is where we're at right now. We're facing this way towards Boca de Beppo and we can go and like make our way around and see what else is around. Like say we wanted to go to the Billabong store and then it shows us how to get there. Look at that, we made it. All right. If anybody was wondering about my bathing suit at Volcano Bay recently, yeah, there it is inside the Billabong store. Well, they were having a 50% off sale of bathing suits. So I got some bathing suits. I got that one right there, as a matter of fact. Right next door is the Vans store. I wanna see if they have the Mickey Mouse Vans in here. They have these cool Mickey Mouse backpacks. I like this one where he's wearing like a cool leather jacket and Minnie's got her ears pierced. And there's flames down the side. Not bad, they're only 24 bucks too. They have these sweet Mickey Mouse socks. 
which are fun because they feel like like crew socks, like regular white cotton socks, but they've got Mickey Mouse on them. I kind of love this shirt. It's pretty awesome. And then this uh, windbreaker as well. So cool. This, the original one is in shirt and a hoodie. What's this? This is just a tie-dyed shirt. Oh no, there he is. There's Sorcerer Mickey down at the bottom. Kind of a good deal for only $24 for this. Oh, and they have the matching hat too. That's pretty awesome. This one's only $19. $19.95. How much is the windbreaker? This one's $49.95. I didn't ever find the shoes, but I did find some cool shirts in there. I think I might go back and buy that green Mickey shirt. I like that one a lot. This is kind of interesting. Right inside of Macy's, there's like a tiny Starbucks right here. It's like the teeniest, tiniest Starbucks. There's a little Simon Guest Services. Simon is the name of the company that owns the mall. But this is also where you can exchange your currency. So if you come here with money from a different country or something like that, you can get it exchanged here. Rate's not so good, but it's not terrible either. All these after Christmas sales are amazing. 50% off M&M merchandise? Let's go into M&M's world. Yeah, I wanna buy a lot of M&M's. It smells really weird in here. I don't really know why it smells so strange in here. What the heck is this thing? They have a lot of them. Is it just a, like a plane? Is there any purpose to it? Oh, it's a, it's a candy dispenser. Ooh, that's awesome. We can buy bulk M&Ms. Look at all these M&Ms in here. There's so many of them. Are these real? No. Yes. Is it? These are real M&Ms. I thought maybe it was a painting. Also, they have a whole lot of these different kinds of M&M dispensers, like this motorcycle guy and the Statue of Liberty. Wow. You can, oh, they have Skittles here. What are these even doing here? Just one random thing of Skittles. And they have all these different colors that you can get. Oh, we're actually over on the peanut M&M side. 22 color mix, regular M&Ms, winning flavor M&Ms. Oh, coffee nut. Oh, so this is white chocolate peanut. This is coffee nut. This is mint dark chocolate chip mermaid mix. I think that's just the color, which is really fun. Crunchy espresso, crunchy raspberry, no. Dark chocolate peanut, peanut butter, almond, crispy, pretzel, and the unicorn mix with peanuts. They have a thing of mini M&Ms, some caramel M&Ms, just regular old dark chocolate ones. Another unicorn mix in the regular M&Ms. Winter mix, which they have color changing lights over here so you can't really see what color these are. Mermaid mix, the same, but this is in just regular M&Ms. Love potion mix, holiday mint, only primary colors, 22 color mix, and then we get into all the just different colors of it. I feel like there's nobody in the back of the store back here, but there's a race car. There is a the entire race car in the back back here. Look at that, holy macaroni. It's got the M&Ms on it. Plus this is where the cooler shirts are back here. I never knew that there was enough M&M merchandise to just fill up an entire store. Well, this is supposed to look like a giant vending machine. There's also a pressed penny machine here where you can get one of these four pressed pennies. And somebody was asking how these work. Basically, you have two quarters and a penny that go in and you line up whichever design you want with the handle here. And then once the design is lined up right at the arrow there, then you put your quarter and your penny in and then you crank it and it comes out squished down there. They told, told me inside that Kyle Busch actually raced that race car at Daytona. Also, there's a Sephora right here. There's a Microsoft store here, and right outside, they've got an Xbox set up so you can play Forza. And of course, right next to the Microsoft store is the Apple store, which is completely packed. Well, this is interesting. There's a Tesla store in here where you can go inside and look at Teslas. This is the Model 3 that just came out. That's cool. I like this. That was pretty interesting. It's definitely a popular store and they said that they do free test drives for anybody that wants them. So you just come in and they'll take you out, pick a model and they'll take you out in it. I also asked if they would get the Roadster and they're like, maybe when it comes out in 2020. I feel like we're in the tech section of the mall because there's a Bose, that's where the Apple store was. Tesla's right behind me. Windows was right next to Apple. Oh, it looks like a Morphe is opening up over here in 2019. I've always been intrigued by Sperry's, but I don't think that I could pull them off. I don't think I have the right feet for them. You guys have them and are they comfortable? Back at the Disney store and it looks like stuff is on sale. Oh my goodness, you guys remember when we were in Disneyland and these guys were in the store there? They're on sale now for $14.99. I wonder if they'll end up in the outlets anytime soon. These green aliens are on sale for $14. Oh, what do they do? It says press here. 
Oh, they light up. $5.99 for this Demi plush from Vampirina. The mayor is on sale for $5.99. This is an amazing deal. Oh my goodness, look at this Spider-Man ugly Christmas sweater. I think it lights up too. This is amazing. While I was here in the mall, I found out Victoria's Secret. It's underwear, that's her secret. We're heading towards like a large open section and there's a Mac store here. And I just talked to Nelson and he said for me to come in. So one day we'll go into the Mac store, maybe when Jen's here. So if you guys remember last time from the conveyor belt sushi place, these are the prices of the conveyor belt sushi. You just go off of what color it is and as it's going by, you just grab it. But right behind is a Christmas store. And of course, because Christmas is over, they're having their 50% off sale. Whoa, look at this, they have Cinderella's carriage. Wow, the Christmas store is a lot bigger than I thought it was, but right next to it is the Florida Hotel. There's actually a hotel attached to this mall and a much larger Starbucks inside of there too, and a quick grab and go place, but there's an entire hotel in here. Look at that. With a bar, there's a place called Cricket's Bar over there. It's a full size Starbucks as opposed to that little teeny tiny Starbucks that we saw earlier. Oh, they're having a silent auction over here. You can get Ronald Reagan's signature. Wow, Muhammad Ali, oh, Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley. This is pretty cool. So here it is, the inside of the Florida Hotel. It's pretty nice in here, actually. Welcome fortune. Oh, I thought it said fortune tellers. Oh man, I thought there was a fortune tellers convention going on, which would have been amazing. There's a grand piano in here. Oh, also there's another guest services desk here, right next to the Christmas to remember store where you can do, get information and do currency exchange. I still am kind of blown away that there's an entire store devoted to Crocs. The store is called Surf Wheels and Drones. And it looks like they've got all kinds of stuff. We actually just got this Osmo Pocket. So we're gonna be testing that out for sure. If there's one thing we definitely have an abundance of here in Orlando, it's suitcase stores. Well, we've made it back to the other end of the mall and there's the Think Geek store and the JCPenney. I'm gonna actually head into the CVS, see if there's anything interesting in here. Why not? And there is lots and lots of Disney stuff. I don't do matching shirts. Oh man, the gingerbread train is on sale right now. 50% off, what's this? The pooping reindeer is on sale. You push down on his head, his little tail lifts up and a little chocolate treat comes out. Finally, a 90 years of Mickey Mouse crock pot. What I've been waiting for my entire life. Wait a second here. Why is this so hidden? It's a rotating chocolate maker so you can make hollow chocolate hearts. <gasps> Amazing. And it's only $9.99. Oh, this looks promising. Oh goodness, what in the world is going on here? What? What if I put her in the middle of the aisle here? Do it, Minnie. Show them what you're working with. Where's she going? Oh, geez. Well, I thought it was gonna be a fun dancing mini time. Yeah. This is the best. Well, this is interesting. You can just get a single beer in here. I wonder if you can walk around the mall with this. You can walk around with a soda for sure, but I'm just wondering about the beers. They also sell suitcases here in the CVS. I kind of thought about getting one of these like little tiny arcades, but look at how quickly it's all worn off. Oh, that's interesting. I came outside. This is the same place that we were last time with the different lights, which they still have up. Still Christmas here at the Florida Mall. And the whole reason that I came out to this side is to check out the American Girl store I have no idea what an American Girl store is. I'm kind of afraid to go inside. It looks like it's closed, actually. Oh yeah, they closed at eight. Darn it. Well, we can't go inside, but we can look through the windows here. I think what this is, is you pick out an American Girl doll. That's, uh, I guess, you, right? I don't know. Somebody explain to me what an American Girl doll is in the comments down below. Or wait, is an American Girl doll where you have the same outfit as the doll? Because that seems to be what's happening right here. Is that what it is? Oh, I guess that was Blair Wilson. It looks like she has a story behind her too. So maybe that's what it is? These American Girl dolls are having a pizza party with air hockey. Look, they got pizza and ice cream and everything. They're having more fun than me right now. There's also an American Girl doll bistro somewhere around here. I think it's inside the store. Is Blair Wilson the doll or is Blair Wilson the person that came up with American Girl dolls? 
because they're like leaving quotes like Blair Wilson is coming up with quotes Blair Wilson is definitely the doll there she is with her book that book is a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be that's like a novel there it is the American girl doll bistro I guess you can have your little like birthday parties here your American girl doll birthday parties and then have some food too so there you have it that was a more in-depth look at the Florida mall or just basically looking at some of the stuff that we missed a lot of stuff in here definitely was easier to walk around this time around than it was when we were going just right before Christmas because uh, Christmas is over as you guys saw there were a lot of sales I'm excited I'm gonna come back and test drive a Tesla one day I think I think that'll be fun so with that being said we are off we will see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price